Hi, right, it's me again. Um, right, I thought I'd show you this today. Um, it's, well, I believe it's 1956 or 1958. That's better. Uh, accord, um, according to the uh, date stamp on the back of it, it's a uh, Bush uh, DAC-90A. Uh, right, so I've turned it on. Let's see if we can get it to work. Anything happening? Yeah, these valve, old valve radios take a while to warm up because it's got the thermionic valves in the back of it, inside it rather. That's strange. Um, ah, that might help. Yeah, help if I actually plugged it in. Right, let's try again. Hang on, I don't want to see my face. Hang on one Right, and um, right, so we turn it on. I've actually plugged it in this time, and what do you think? As I say it's got valves in it, might take a little while. It's a uh, what, a 1956, I think it is not, or possibly 58. So it's just oh, there we go. I think that's BBC Radio 4. So that is long wave. Um, so we've got long wave or medium wave, and we're on long wave at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's change the band. The band selector is on the side here. Bit of mains hum. I do live next door to a. Um, a um, <laughs> electricity substation, which I don't know if that's what is causing it. Could try something. That's a bit better. Could be these lights I've got. These, um, yeah, the lights I'm using to light is oh, when I'm plugged. Best sounding thing I've ever heard. Oh, there we go. Asian, BBC Asian Network, by the sound of it. Right. Just turning it because the um, these are directional. The, um, the um, coil wound antenna inside them is directional, so sometimes turning them orientates the. the um, Antenna which is directional towards the uh, transmitter. Now, the mains hum actually, thinking about it, there is a, um, a capacitor, an electrolytic capacitor inside. Which, if I remember rightly, can, is is designed to reduce mains hum, and it's actually the um, I've actually removed it at the moment because it went faulty. So I've not used it for a while, so um, I've forgotten about that. But that could be what the hums, what is humming so much? Probably is actually. Right. Um, just going to turn that light back on again. Yeah, here we have to look. Um, I was just plugging it in to see whether. Get this lit up better. Right. I missed it. Maybe I'm not um, cleaning the lens. Right, as you can see, some interesting um, stations on here. Um, BBC Third, Luxembourg, the BBC Light Program, or Light Channel, whatever. Midland, London, Scottish, Northern, Prague, Exotic, Aaron, which is the Republic of Ireland, Leon. 
the BBC Third, Wales, Welsh, Western, Northern Ireland, Dublin, BBC Western. Well, that's medium wave. I thought we were on long wave. Clondborg. I wonder where that is. Clondborg. That sounds like German, do Leyte. I'm sure some could tell me where it is. I should really Google it. Warsaw, Oslo, BBC Light Programme, Reykjavik in Iceland, and Moscow, Russia. And there's another place I've always wondered about. Um, well, I should really look at Al 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 Alois. I really should find out where these places are. So, there you go. Mm, that's exciting as well. Might go back to Radio 4, isn't it? It worked better without it in the other room, actually. I've just moved it through. Uh, Trying to put a finger over the camera. Right, let's turn it back to long wave. On medium wave, it was working better in the other room. It quite un quite un I'm trying to think because I'm not actually near the substation been in this room but it, we are definitely getting a lot of deference and like I say the, there's a capacitor which I've, I believe is there to reduce mains hum and I've actually uh, got it disconnected at the moment well yeah but that was some too long for UBC might be complaining at the time uh, <laughs> I'm using their, their material. Uh, so there you are. Uh, YouTube probably will, probably. Well, you've identified copyright infringement or whatever it says. But anyhow, there you go. Um, yeah, a Bush DAC-90A rather than the earlier DAC-90. The earlier one, um, yeah, the, the thing about what difference is the dials are different sometimes. Um, what else? There's a few subtle differences, like, but basically they're different. The, the, the main difference is inside that if you took the back off them, which I'm not recommending you do because there's a live chassis. So if you had it plugged in and touched the metal in the back, you get the shock. Um, so don't do that. But they're different inside. It's much more of like a vintage radio. I've seen them on. Um, I've seen. Well, I've only ever seen a DAC ninety, the original, on YouTube. Um, not on YouTube. What am I talking about? On on um, eBay with the back off, and I can see from there that you've got. It it's more it reminds me more of a vintage radio, much more vintage radio, and this is more modern. Well, if you can call valve radios modern. Um, there's a the reason I'm not I've often seen the, the early DAC 90s rather than the DAC 90As and thought, shall I buy one? But the thing I don't like about them is the um the oh, I can't think what the word is. The thing basically is like a transformer, but it's called something else and I've forgotten what it is. A voltage dropper, that's it. There's a component that drops the voltage down from the uh 230 volts mains down to whatever the radio requires, but it appears to be <laughs> encased in um, white asbestos, um, which puts me off. I don't really want that in the house, um, so that's why I've never bought one. Because I've seen, I saw one recently for a very good price, and I was, I was, I was tempted, but I think I'll stick to the the, the A, the DAC ninety A rather than the DAC ninety. It's been the later A version that doesn't have that asbestos in the back. Right. There you go. So, um, yeah, right. All these radio stations on here aren't in the right place anymore. So, BBC Light, well, where it says BBC Light there is coming up with Radio 4. Um, trying to remember now, when I was a kid... I seem to remember that these we had these stickers in the house, and I think what happened they changed all the frequencies around sometimes in the late seventies, early eighties. Um, well, the BBC did, so you had to remark all your radios because they moved what radio one, radio two, on these different stations around, so they were all in different places. Uh, so obviously now BBC Light programs come out as Radio Four, Longwave. 
and yeah the and on medium wave now i think there's five live still which i think is on the old radio two frequency if i remember rightly um radio one's not on there it's still what was virgin radio i think it's called 1215 or something like that's still going on but that was obviously a more recent commercial station and this <laughs> wasn't around when this was made um yeah so anyhow that's the uh, bush the ac 98 i'll turn it around one little bit so you got your troll on the side for medium wave long wave and you've got oh, make an old thing now isn't there? You've got your uh, main supply at the back there. Yeah, AC DC receiver. Because it can actually run on DC on direct current as well as alternating current. Um, I know in, it's interesting because it's the mains voltage. I know in the early days of electricity before the national grid in the UK, having the pylons, which was put in the 1930s, you could, there were some, each town tended to have their own local power station and they weren't all on the same voltage and some were even producing dc rather than ac but then it got standardized but i don't know why did the producers to run on dc maybe they sold them internationally and some countries were still using dc mains voltage i don't actually know i wasn't around in 1956 or 58 when this radio was made um yeah i really really wasn't Okay, but uh, yeah, so that's your Bush DAC 90A. Thanks for watching.